right so welcome glad to have you on board since we have failed to uh, actually use the the usb drive in order to look at linux so the only alternative uh, i can ever come up with is docker mm, docker is a, is very cheap uh, on like the virtual machine and then let's just go ahead and see how we are we are going to use docker so first of first thing, what is docker so docker is a set of platform as a service products that use os level virtualization to deliver software in packages called containers so uh docker is actually going to use the uh, the os level visualization to deliver the Kalinux image for us or kali image for us uh, and then it's going to serve as a as a container sitting inside our our system so that was that was it all about so if you go to if you if you just put in a uh, docker on google this is what you are going to have and you can click on the home page and on the other page uh, if you search uh, here install if you if you actually search for install docker on on sorry on windows so if you search for that you should be able to uh, arrive in this page you are going to get in, into this page it's going to tell you install doc, uh, docker desktop for windows then you click on, on this guy then you arrive at this page so uh, there, there are something important here before we actually uh, go ahead and look at what to, uh, how to install docker itself the first thing they are giving us here is the system requirements say your window machine must meet the following system requirement to successfully install docker desktop on your system so uh you, you can see it's a window 11 window 11 so it's expecting us to have window 11 so i i believe window 10 should work it's going to work then we should have a 64 bit system that you can use a window 10 64 bit is also going to work and uh also uh we should have a 4 gigabyte frame system uh, and then the BIOS level visualization should be enabled and also should be supported uh these are very very important so download and install the L linux kernel updates packages and uh, and all stuff like that so we need to install all the linux kernel packages uh, onto our onto our system before we begin to use docker and um, i think one of the drawbacks we are going to have with this uh, particular tutorial is that i myself i'm not using windows the only thing i have here is linux and it's very difficult for me to really pull it in uh, how you are going to pull docker on the on the on the on the on your window but i have a manual for that so we have some linux visualization if i click on this i think it's going to give us some uh linux uh, software that you have to install so that you'll be able to run docker successfully uh, right here so and uh, because i'm i'm using uh, linux here i have docker installed already so if i could just put in system city health status of docker like that so if i have the system ctf docker status let's just wait for this guy you can see i have docker running already uh, on my own system because this is linux you can just go ahead and download it so let's go back to the download page so if you read to this side it says uh, after the requirement of stuff like that uh it's asking us to grab the to grab something very important here so let me just look for it uh so okay let's go let's drill down okay so the installation is safe now so it say if we haven't already downloaded the installer then you can get it from the docker hub so let's go to docker hub and then and see how you are going to download it the installer rather so you can see it pull us to the docker hub right here uh and says uh, we should just go ahead and download dockers for docker desktop for windows and if you click on this guy you should be able to have it download so you pop up so you can see it's around 495 megabytes just only the installer itself so go ahead and download that and then run the installer then follow the wizard uh, that is going to pop up i think uh, let's look at these guys i'm not going to download this because uh, this is not going to work on my on my system so this is how you get docker downloaded all right so download the linux kernel update so this page actually leads us to where we are going to download the uh linux kernel updates for x64 like that so uh okay powershell set developer so you if you can like if you just follow up through this uh through this uh 
if you just follow all through these documentations you'll be able to have a, a, a grip on the what we are supposed to download and if par eventually something is not working we'll be able to know what is not working so let's if we go for something so if you are how to install docker on window so right now we want to check some blogs because i believe there'll be some lot of blogs uh that, that is going to give us step by step guide like this guide how to install docker on windows is step by step guide so this should be very very useful uh i think it's for simplifiedland.com okay simply land.com like this so s i m p l i l e a r n land.com and it does have a very good uh step by step tutorials for you to get docker installed and run on your machine like that so one drawback I've, I've seen about this itself is that it contains a lot of data like your data to download this and i think that is one of the main uh draw drawback i've ever seen with using docker because uh, this is just the beginning of exhausting our data it's not actually exhausting it's for our own good so let's really go to docker itself uh okay let me sign in uh, i have an account so you have you are going to create an account on docker.com like that so i have an account i'm just going to log in into the account and then we are going to see uh, what kind of uh containers and packages that is available for us so i'm already logged in with code with gibre and right here i can search for kali so you can see we have kali linux rolling here so this is what we want kali linux rolling this is all what we ever want so kali linux running like this and uh it already gives you uh it should give you a int so this is it exactly exactly so this is the only command you have to run so just open the command prompt and then you type docker pull kalinux splash d so you can even copy it all by itself and then if you pull on a terminal and you okay let me just clear this up you press this so pressing this alone is going to pull this kalinux uh ruling is going to pull it on your uh particular so why is it so trying to get permissions i need to run this as a sudo so let me just uh put this as a sudo it says so okay is the wrong permission denial or something all right let's see what we got so oh this is just the only command you have to run in as much as you are able to install docker you are able to get uh, docker installed fully installed on the system so it's just as simple as that so once you run this pull command uh we already have the kali linux so it's going to download a lot of file like four gigabyte three gigabyte of it so i just have to cancel this guy because i don't want to, I, I really don't want to do this right now you can see this is a uh, it's going to start from the this one then it bring up some other pop-ups guys then install kali linux on it so once you have docker installed very very well i know this video is not straight i just have to do this in a rush rush i didn't really prepare well for it so once you install docker then you just have to run this particular command right in front of me and everything is going to work fine so boy it takes a lot of uh, s uh steps so if you read through this page don't forget this page is your friend uh you have to make sure that you have these requirements and then you satisfy all the requirements here so once they are satisfied then we are able to run docker like that so once we run docker like we are able to flow along with, along with the other other tutorials uh, so i think this is where i'm going to put it to a hint if there is still any uh, issue to issue to iron out from this please let me know thank you